Hi everybody, this is Chameleon for Technochubby.com and I'm going to look at how easy or difficult it is to get a Windows game running on Macintosh without boot camp and the hassle of logging into a separate Windows partition. This time around I will be attempting Carmageddon 2, a pretty violent little racer from 1998 where you get more points and time for demolishing the other cars and running over pedestrians rather than actually running the race. So let's get to it. Okay, we are going to start by starting up crossover games. And so the auto run actually identified the disk. So we are going to say open with crossover games. And actually we're going to go with advanced install. Crossover software installer. Uh, we were going to say install unsupported software. So for this we're going to create a new bottle. Since this is, we're going to call it car two. Since this is an older game, we are going to use a Windows 98 bottle. And hey, the install screen pops up. We're doing good so far. Let's click the install button. Um, pops the setup. Click on next. Go to the regular destination folder. Okay, it looks like we're getting an advertisement here. If everything else fails, we can be safe in the comforting knowledge that the ad played fine. And we are going to let the installation complete through crossover. Ooh, quit unexpectedly. That could be bad. Well, it's in there. This is what would be the C drive on the computer. So let us make sure we got crossover selected. Go into the program menu. Oh, first of all, actually, I'm going to manage this bottle. Car 2. I'm going to open wine config. I am going to go to the graphics in the configuration. I'm going to make sure I do not allow DirectX apps to stop the mouse leaving the window in case something happens and I get stuck. I am going to emulate a virtual desktop, which I am going to set to 1280 by 800, just so I can have it in a window, just so that if something goes wrong, my whole screen isn't hijacked by a malfunctioning program. I am going to go to the built-in menu here, Interplay, Carmageddon 2, and here's the moment of truth. There's our desktop. Tempting, but I think I will not register. Yes, I will forfeit. I will leave all those there and I will click launch. Sound was a little off, but I think that was the way it was to begin with. And screen's looking pretty clear. All right. Let's see how it does. Let's do normal. Five, four, pretty good. Three, two, one, go! Doing pretty smooth there. I already wasted a guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, 
best one. Here we go. How horrific is that? See, it plays pretty smoothly. So does it install? Yes, it installs. Does it run? Yes, it runs. Does it play? Actually plays pretty well. If you happen to come across this disc or you happen to have it in your archives, definitely give it a go.